We zijn op de repetitie van Rasa, een moderne interpretatie van de balletklassieker La Bayadère. Topchoreograaf Daniel Proietto creëerde het speciaal voor de 50e jubileum van het Ballet van Vlaanderen. Het is uh, een van onze grootste balletten dat we dit jaar maken. Het is ook helemaal nieuw, het is op ons gemaakt. Veel kostuums, veel decor, veel kleur ook. Ik denk dat we een beetje feestal zijn op worden. Ik ben de choreografer van Rasa. Dit uh, is een piece commissioned by Sidi Larbe Sherkawi. Mijn eerste full length werk is een three act piece. Het uh, is mijn grootste werk to date. En ook well, I think it's one of the biggest productions that the company has done. I've heard that it was the 50 year anniversary and I wanted to do uh, something quite large to celebrate this company and all the works they have done in their history. This talks about the caste system in India, and I think this is one of the things that I thought it was very important, not to talk about caste, but to talk about equality. I think the entire world experiences inequality and a complete unbalance of power structures. And I think this is why I wanted to, to speak it in a very universal sense, not just about what India is experiencing, but about what the whole world is experiencing in social problems. I think the dancers are phenomenal. They don't cease to surprise me. They're co-creating with me. They're bringing their own ideas, personalities, uh, languages into the piece. And because we try not to point it into India in the direction of, of what Bayader was, we're trying to use it as very universal themes. They're bringing a lot of uh, their experience and their, their own vocabulary into this. And my own team is like a dream. I think any, any art is political, I think, whether you like it or not. When you do something that people are watching, there's an exchange of ideas and messages. So it's not my intention to be political. I just feel like we live in a very uh, political time. We finally have a voice. Everybody has a voice. You can see it in what's going on in Chile, a whole country waking up and deciding this is not representing us anymore. So of course, then my work is definitely reflecting a little bit what's going on today. I think it's very important to talk about what's happening in our world. So definitely I'm talking about uh, gender identity, um, about politics today, about inequality, and many things that are happening today. I think that's maybe part of my, yeah, maybe my mission as an artist, and maybe most artists, I think we do it in more abstract ways, in more narrative ways, but we're all, reflecting on this.